A similar situation took place at the Miss Universe Canada competition only a few years ago, 2013. Joining us now from Calgary is the winner of that contest, Riza Santos. And here in studio, the third runner-up, Denise Greedo. Ladies, thank you both for being here this morning. Thank you. All right, I'm going to start with you, uh, Denise. I'm going to call you, if, if this is fine to say, the Miss Columbia of the Miss Universe 2013 mm -hmm. competition. What happened in your case when you were told you won and then, like, did it? So for myself, it actually, the, the news was 24 hours later. So it was the following day. I had a day of photo shoots and video shoots. And that evening, I had a meeting that I had to go into. And I'm like, okay, it's a meeting to discuss my next 365 days. And it was then that he told me that they validated the results and the top five were jumbled. So I was no longer the winner. And yeah, but... Okay. Everything you're, happens for a reason. No, you're a cool great. cucumber yeah. right now. Yes. But what were you thinking when you were actually told then? I, that exact same thing. I looked at him, I'm like, I know everything happens for a reason, but I have no idea why. But, and everything in retrospect afterwards. It was a great blessing in disguise, and I'm really grateful for it. Riza, like, it was a journey for both Riza and I okay. the whole way through. Yeah. So let me now bring you in, Riza, because, Riza, you were the, can I call you the Miss Philippines of the situation in the sense that you were told the next day, or was it the next day that you were told, hey, the math was wrong, you're the winner. I found out the day after Denise, so I got a phone call. I actually had a business trip in the United States, and that's when I got a call from the national director that um, I was the actual winner of the competition. So... Now, I mean, it didn't happen the way that maybe people would think on the stage and all of that. Did it cheapen the victory at all for you, knowing that this is how you had to find out that you were actually Miss Universe Canada? I wouldn't say that it cheapened the victory, but I would say that the situation was completely different than I would have ever imagined. Um, it was very unique and um, something that I would have never expected, but it was definitely quite the experience. So, Denise, did you ask yourself, how does something like this happen? I feel that everything that happens is part of our destiny. And so, even though you're, there's a shock element to it, I feel like it's all part of our path and our journey. And because of what happened, it was probably the best thing that could have happened to us. Because in terms of the amount of exposure and the platform that that gave us afterwards, you know, everyone... Um, could relate to someone who's gone through failures and disappointments in life more. But you know, you didn't have to go through your failure and disappointment, if you can call it that, Yes, on, on live stage. national yes. television. Yes. You yes. got to take in the news privately. Yes. Did that help you? I truly commend Miss Columbia and Miss Philippines because yes, they had to do it live on camera in front of millions of people. And so I feel like I had a more cushy end of the deal in that sense, yes. <laughs> what, what do you think Miss Philippines is feeling like today, Riza? Um, I feel like she's probably feeling on top of the world. Um, I follow the Miss Universe account on Instagram, and so I've actually been seeing a few of her pictures, and she is just beaming with pride. Um, I know that the whole country is supporting her, and a lot of people in the world, and both contestants, and I think that she's just feeling elated, and she seems very humble. And do you feel the same way, like everything does happen for a reason, as Denise is saying? Definitely. I think that you can see things in retrospect, but at, yeah. um, in a situation like this, you would take the best out of it. And I think that a lot of positive can come out of this situation. Well, both of you clearly have done very, very well, regardless of what happened back then. So I thank you both for, for joining us, giving us your perspective on this yeah. uh, apparently not so unique situation. So thanks for your time this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you.